Hey guys, it's Call223, I'm back with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video. And I'm gonna apologize for this one being a little bit blurry, but um, I promise it should get a little bit better. Anyways, so, get a battle with Dylan, he sends out City Biscuit from his new team, and that's gonna go and trick me. I'm gonna get a Choice Scarf, and he's gonna get my Focus Sash. Now I'm locked into Thunder Wave, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna switch out now. I bring in I Eat Babies, because I figured that I'd be able to take a Thunder Wave and get rid of it with my shed skin ability. So now that I have, um, now I'm going to go and I'm going to switch Rue, and he gets a choice scarf back, and I get a focus sash, which is kind of bad, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the main thing was that I did not want him to have his focus sash because that could be potentially bad for the rest of my team. And at least now he's locked into psychic, so I can switch on something that resists it. So I bring out Punisher, and he's going to switch away Sea Biscuit. I use Swagger on him, which he thinks is a good thing, but he ends up getting confused and hurting himself. So it wasn't really all that great. And I'm going to finish him off with Punishment, because Punishment is win when the enemy has plus two attack. It gets a critical hit, doesn't really matter at all. And he's going to bring out Samba. I'm going to switch out because I don't want to get destroyed by that. And I have to unfortunately sacrifice Shazam. And it goes down to a close combat. So now I'm going to bring out Bad Surgeon. And I figured that he would switch out. But he actually doesn't. And I go for a Fake Tears, which is great. Because now he's at minus three special defense. And I know that a Psychic will kill him in one hit. Or her in one hit. Goes for a Stone Edge, but that misses. And I'm going to Morning Sun to get back some of my health. Luckily, I get back to full because of the miss. Goes for another Earthquake, and that's going to take me back down about the same range. I go for a Psychic, and it goes all the way down to 1 HP because it has a Focus Sash, which makes that turn that I used Fake Tears completely useless. I get some Lefties, Heal, goes for another Stone Edge, hoping that a crit would kill me off, and I go for another Morning Sun, get my HP back. It's pretty good for me. Stone Edge hits, and luckily it's not a critical hit, and I'm at 170 HP, and I'm able to finish it off, so yay, that's the biggest threat of the entire team down already. He brings out Orion, his knocked out, and I go for Fake Tears, and he goes for Hypnosis, luckily it misses, good for me, um, he switches out, and I go for yet another Fake Tears, so that's win. Now I'm going to hit it with a Psychic, but it's not going to do enough to kill, because it is resisted. And I'm going to get hit with a Trick, which is cool, because at this point I didn't care if I lost the leftovers or not, because I'm going to be locked into Psychic. So, Choice Scarf Psychic goes, hits Noctowl. Uh, Noctowl is too good of special defenses, so it only does less than a quarter. And probably less than a fifth after leftovers. I hit it with another psychic just to do some damage and to take the hypnosis because nothing on my team that I want to bring out uh, should have to go through that hypnosis. So I finally bring out five cent refund, which is what I was trying to get out, but I didn't want to put to sleep. He's gonna go for a ruse, go back to full health, and he thought that he'd be slower here, but I'm the slower one. I hit him with a thunderbolt. And that's going to do some pretty good damage. Take him down to about a third, maybe a quarter. Probably a third after leftovers. Goes for a roost because he knows that he's faster now. And I'm going to hit him with another Thunderbolt. Which doesn't do nearly as much as the first one. You can see just at half, the first one took him down to about a quarter of his health or something like that. Goes for another roost and now he's back at full HP. I'm going to do another Thunderbolt, and that does even less than the second one. And now I'm in a bad situation. Where I can do one of two things. Um, luckily, though, he switches into Sea Biscuit, takes the Thunderbolt, and dies. But that means that he gets a free switch in to his Magmar, which I know is totally going to hurt me. Um, I go for the Explosion, just to kill it. But it uses a substitute, which I totally forgot about, and really sucked for me, because that's a dead mag. Uh, that's a dead magnet zone. So now I bring in Big Red, which I wanted to switch in on a Fire Punch. Um, I use Sunny Day, and he uses Belly Drum, 
bring himself all the way down to activate his berry. So now he's got max attack, he's got his berry, and he goes for a mock punch. Which is going to do a ton of damage to me, but not enough to kill. Brings him down to 117. I hit him with the Thunder Fang and I'm able to finish him off. Uh, so now Sunlight's strong. Um, I don't have a Heat Rock on me, so it's not going to last forever. And I hit his Pom Pom with a Flare Blitz, hoping to kill, but it's got a Focus Sash, so it hangs in there. And that's going to finish me off. Um, he goes for a Thunderbolt here. Itch, <laughs> no target. And then for this turn, he goes for a Nasty Plot, thinking that I was going to Swagger first. But I just go straight for the Punishment. Um, Sunlight's going to fade out pretty soon. He sends out Orion. I use Swagger on it. And um, gets confused. Uses Nightshade on me, but I can take another one of those. And... Sunlight fades away there, not really too important. Now I'm going to use Snatch, predicting him to use Roost because he knows I'm faster. And just like that, I'm back at full HP. That's why I love Punisher. It can totally cripple a wall if needed. Hit it with a Punishment, and that's going to take it all the way down to red. Not enough to finish it off. In retrospect, it probably would have been better to just go for the Punishment, but I wanted to show off some of the strategy behind Punisher. And that is good game. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe to both of us. Um, his YouTube channel is in the description below. And as always, peace out.